Hey there, can you tell me about SkillCurb? SkillCurb appears to be an educational platform. That is not all. You can even ask it about math problems like right now. Hey, can you resolve my math problem? Can you multiply 10 with 15? Sure. To multiply 10 by 15, you simply calculate. 10 times 15 equals 150. So the result is 150. And as you heard, the answer was correct. And you must be wondering, how did I create that? Well, I created this using Vectorshift, which is a no-code AI automations platform, and they have a completely free tier to actually try this out. And also that, and I also have a few videos on vector shift over at my YouTube channel. You can go on and give them a try. But in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to create this amazing pipeline, which will be turned into a voice bot later on, and that too without any coding. So without further chatter, let's dive right in. Hi, and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host, Shamrez, and we're finally getting to the fun part. So without further chatter, let's actually jump right in and create a pipeline. So I'm going to go and create a pipeline from scratch because we want to create our voice assistant from scratch. So I'm just going to go and create a pipeline from scratch here. Now, any pipeline or automation needs two foundational components, which is an input and an output. These are a must and you always need to have them in most of the cases. Now, let me zoom in a bit. So as for the input, the type of input I want is an audio because I want to communicate with the voice assistant using my voice. And after that, as for the output, I want an audio as well because I want an audio response. That's it. Now that we have our input and output configured, what we need is something that can transcribe this audio that is coming through the input into text so that we can process that in the LLM. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to the multimodal section here and you need to pick up this speech to text module. Let's place that right here. I'm going to connect these two. Now, what this is going to do is it's actually going to transcribe the audio that I'm going to speak through the mic and then convert that into text. You can use the OpenAI's Whisper or the Deep Gram, but I'm going to go with OpenAI Whisper because I think it's more better than the Deep Gram model. And after that, let's make some space. Let's zoom out. So the next thing we need is going to be a knowledge base, but I think you can do it without a knowledge base as well, as long as you don't need to include something related to your company or you don't want to include contextual knowledge. But if you want to do it, I'm just going to go and show you anyhow. So it's a plus point. So for knowledge base, let's go to knowledge base and let's create a new knowledge base here. All you have to do is create a new knowledge base and just name it. So I'm just going to go and name this as skill curve as always. And you can go on and configure the settings, but I'm going to leave everything as it is because the default settings work for me as this is just a demo. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is to add documents to your knowledge base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape some URLs. One is going to be my YouTube URL and the other one is going to be my website's URL. So as for the YouTube URL, I'm just going to go to a skill curve channel. Let's copy this URL and I'm going to paste that right here. That's it. I'm going to add that document. As for the next document, I'm just going to click here. I'm going to scrape the URL. Let's click here. Now, for my website, I want to turn this on on recursive because we're going to post blogs and tutorial articles on our website. So I'm going to make this as a recursive so that we can actually go on and recursively crawl data from this URL. As for the URL, let's go to the website. Let's copy this and paste that right here. Let's go and add that document. And there you go. But as you can see here, I have turned the YouTube and the website URL on a rescript frequency of hourly because I want to check my website and my YouTube hourly for new content and then scrape all the data from that content and add it to the knowledge base so that my voice assistant can be up to date. So now that we have our knowledge base configured, what we need is we need to go to the pipeline and let's go and edit that. After creating our knowledge base, what we need to do is we need to actually have an LLM here. So I'm just going to go and have my OpenAI LLM right here. Now, what I need to do is I need to create two different variables. One is going to be connected to the text to speech module here. And the other one is going to be connected to the context or the knowledge base. So let me first connect these two here. And as for the variables, all you need to do is click here in the prompt section. All you have to do is name the variables. So one is going to be the question or query. So I'm going to name that as query and then click here to add a variable. Let's name this as query. That's it. Now for the next variable, which is going to be context, let's go and click on insert variable here. And I'm going to name this as context. 
which is coming through the knowledge base. Now that you have these, what you can do is you can actually go on and connect the LLM with your knowledge base right here and with the text to speech module right here. After that, we need to configure the system prompt. Now the system prompt is going to be really basic. I'm just gonna go and ask it to answer the questions based on the context and its own knowledge. So let's go and enter the prompt here. And there you go, there's the prompt. Let me zoom in a bit. So I asked it to answer the questions based on the context and its own knowledge because, because I want it to be an all-rounder voice assistant, not just answering questions based on my context because I want to ask general questions as well. So that's it. After that, one last step that we need to do is we need to convert this textual output into audio. And for that, what we need to do is we need to go to the multi-model section here and we need this TTS OpenAI. Now, what this TTS OpenAI is, this is OpenAI's text-to-speech model. Let's go and add that here. Let's connect it and let's connect that with the output, which is already an audio type. Now, what this would do is it would convert the text that is coming through the LLM into audio and pass this to the output, which is really mind-blowing. Now, after you're done doing this, your voice assistant is complete. Now, all you have to do is actually save this and deploy this. So I'm going to go and deploy the changes. And after that, I can just go on and export the pipeline or I can just play on and actually test this out right here. But what I want is I want to actually export this. So let's go and export that. And notice this is going to be a really crucial step here because you have to export this as a voice board, not as an automation or chat board. And after that, let's name that. As always, I'm gonna go and say skill curb, voice assistant, VA, that's all. Let's create this voice board. And this is how the default output would look like. But I want to change a few things. As for the button text color, I want to change this to white because I don't like this. As for the font size, I wanna change that as well, just so that I can see it clearly. I think that would be better. And as for the background color, I think that's good enough. As for the welcome header, we can change stuff there as well. We can change the questions that we're going to display and we can change the background and stuff as well. And this is the amazing part about vector shift. They give you complete control over the configurations of your chat board or voice board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on and actually deploy changes, whatever I've made. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. And if you open this voice board, it's gonna open up in your browser. And you can actually go on and embed this inside your website and your code. And you can also protect this with a password, which means that only those who has the password can log in into your voice assistance page. So I'm gonna leave that off for now. Let's go to the voice board for now. And I'm gonna go on and test this out. So I'm just gonna go and record myself. Hey there, can you tell me about skill curb? SkillCurb appears to be an educational platform that focuses on providing cloud computing certification training across various cloud platforms. It offers a range of online courses and practice exams aimed at helping individuals prepare for certification exams in cloud technologies. So as you can see, it went on and clearly pulled out the data from the knowledge base and answered my question. And this is how easy it is to actually create your very own voice board for any purpose that you might have out there. You don't have to do hours and hours of coding. All you have to do is to just connect some modules and everything will be ready for you. And the purpose of this video was to explain how you can create your very own voice assistant. And I hope that is completed now. With that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.